click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's video we are going to see how the circuit of wind bridge oscillator works and what are the different circuits that can be used for implementation of wind bridge by using op-amp. So let's begin with the topic. We know that oscillator is a circuit which is used for generation of oscillations at the output. These oscillations are nothing but the AC signals. Oscillator do not uses any input signal for producing the output signal, but it uses power supply and as long as the power supply is available, the oscillator produces signals at the output. For producing oscillations at the output, oscillator uses a feedback that is called as positive feedback. In case of positive feedback, the feedback signal, that means the part of output signal and the input signal are in phase with respect to each other. So if we use an inverting amplifier, then in that case, the amplifier introduces a phase shift of 180 degree and therefore to have a positive feedback, the feedback network required to introduce a phase shift of 180 degree. So basically the oscillator circuit consists of amplifier and a feedback network. But if we use this non-inverting amplifier, then the phase shift introduced by amplifier is zero degree. And therefore, there is no need of feedback network to introduce a phase shift of additional 180 degree. So any circuit, for example, if we consider amplifier as an oscillator, so in order to work amplifier as an oscillator, the amplifier required to satisfy certain criteria and that is called as Barkhausen's criteria. So according to Barkhausen's criteria, the first condition is to have a phase shift around the loop is equals to 0 degree, 360 degree or multiple integral of 360 degree. And the second condition is mod of A beta is equals to 1, where mod of A beta is nothing but the loop gain. So the oscillators are get further classified into two types based on the component that we are going to use for implementation of the oscillator circuit. And the two major types are RC oscillator and LC oscillator. Now, in case of RC oscillator, the component uses are nothing but the resistors and capacitor. RC oscillators are basically used for low frequency and therefore they are also called as audio oscillators. Based on the component used in the feedback network, the RC oscillator further classified into two types that is phase shift oscillator and vane bridge oscillator. The major difference between phase shift oscillator and vane bridge oscillator is in case of phase shift oscillator, the feedback network is formed by using resistor and capacitor and each RC network introduces a phase shift of 60 degree. Therefore, if we connect three RC network in a cascaded manner, then the total phase shift introduces by a phase shift network or a feedback network is nothing but 180 degree. So if the amplifier used is inverting amplifier and if amplifier introduces a phase shift of 180 degree, then in order to have a 0, 360 or integral multiple of 360 degree phase shift, the phase shift network introduces additional phase shift of 180 degree. Now in case of vane bridge oscillator, the phase shift introduced by a feedback network is nothing but a zero degree because in case of main bridge oscillator the amplifier used is a non-inverting amplifier and non-inverting amplifier does not introduce any phase shift to the signal therefore there is no need of additional phase shift introduced by a feedback network so that is the major difference between rc oscillator with a main bridge network now let's see the circuit used as a feedback network that is nothing but vane bridge oscillator circuit. The vane bridge oscillator circuit consists of four arms that is AB, BC, CD and AD. The arm A to D is having a serial combination of resistor R1 and C1 whereas arm CD having a parallel combination of R2 and C2. The arm CD is called as frequency sensitive arm because the components present in this arm decides the frequency of oscillations of the oscillator circuit. The arms BC and AB consist of two resistors and they are R4 and R3. 
These resistors are basically used for generating a reference voltage which is remain constant and the frequency of oscillation is now not depend upon the value of R3 and R4 but it depends upon the component value that is nothing but R2 and C2. Now whenever we want to apply input to the vane bridge circuit then in that case the input is applied between point A and point C whereas the output is taken between the point D and B. So whenever the basic vane bridge circuit is connected in the feedback network then the input is applied between A and C and output is taken from D and C. Now let's see how the connection is made when the circuit is connected with an amplifier. Now when the circuit is connected with an amplifier then in that case the input that means the feedback signal is applied between A and C whereas the output is taken from B and D. So the output from B and D is applied as input to the amplifier. The output voltage now when the circuit is connected in the feedback network then in that case the output voltage that is a part of or a part of output voltage is given as a input between the point A and C and output is taken between the point B and D. Now let's see what are the criteria that required to be satisfied by the amplifier circuit and feedback network in order to have a sustained oscillation. In order to have a sustained oscillation, the feedback network must have a factor that means the feedback factor equals to 1 by 3. When beta is equals to 1 by 3 at oscillator frequency, then we can have a sustained oscillation. As per Barkusson's criteria, we know that one of the condition is mod of A beta should be greater than equals to 1. As A is gain of amplifier and beta is a feedback factor, therefore in order to have a sustained oscillation, in case of vane bridge oscillator, the value of gain should be greater than 3. That means the amplifier which is a non-inverting amplifier required to provide a gain which is always greater than 3. Then only we can have a sustained oscillations at the output. The vane bridge network is also called as lead lag network because when the circuit is used as low frequency then it provides lead network and when it is used at high frequency it provides lag network. But the phase shift introduced by the network is remains 0 degree. Therefore, we do not require additional phase shift so that we can have a positive feedback. For that purpose, the amplifier, that means the op-amp, is required to be connected in a non-inverting configuration. Now let's see when bridge oscillator by using op-amp. In order to implement the circuit of oscillator, we require to use one active element and one feedback network. The active element or the amplifier can be used as a FET, it can be used as a BJT or it can be used as an op-amp. Now in this circuit, we are going to use op-amp as an active element and vane bridge circuit as a feedback network. So now let's see the circuit of vane bridge oscillator by using op-amp. Now in this circuit, the output of the op-amp that means V0 is acts as a feedback signal that means that means the input signal and it is applied between terminal A and terminal C and the output is taken between the terminal B and terminal D. Now here op amp is used in non-inverting configuration and therefore resistor RF is acts as resistor R3 and resistor R4 acts as resistor R1. It is applied to the inverting terminal of op amp. Now the resistor C R and capacitor C connected in arm D and ground acts as a frequency sensitive arm because in this case the frequency of oscillation is now determined by the frequency sensitive arm. The values of R and C will decide the frequency of oscillation. Now in this circuit as op amp is used in non-inverting configuration therefore gain of op amp is given by formula A is equals to 1 plus RF by R1. As RF is equals to R3 and R1 is equals to R4, therefore we can say that the gain is equals to 1 plus R3 by R4. Now, as we know, the RC oscillators are basically used for providing an output having low frequencies and therefore they are also called as audio oscillators. 
the range of frequency provided by vane bridge oscillator is in the range of 20 hertz to 100 kilohertz which is a low frequency range now let's see what are the advantages and disadvantages along with the applications of circuit the first advantage that is provided by circuit is easy to achieve variable frequency as value of frequency is depend upon the value of resistor and capacitor so if we change the value of r and c in frequency sensitive arm then we can easily vary the frequency of oscillation of the circuit the second advantage that is provided by circuit is good quality of sine wave at the output as the frequency depend upon the value of r and c just by changing the value of component we can easily vary the frequency and it is possible to obtain a good quality sine wave at the output whereas in case of rc phase shift oscillator we require to change the values of all the three capacitors and all the three resistors at the same time and it is quite difficult to change all the three components at the same time so as compared to rc oscillator that means rc phase shift oscillator vane bridge oscillator provides variable frequency which is easy to achieve now let's see what are the disadvantages provided by the circuit the first disadvantage is nothing but poor frequency stability as the frequency depend upon only resistors and capacitor then because of the aging of component effect of temperature humidity these parameters can affect the values of component and that value will directly affect the value of frequency Due to this, the output obtained may have poor frequency stability. The second disadvantage is more number of amplifier stages are required. As we require proper output or if we require sustained output, we require to have more number of amplifier stages, then only we can have a sustained signals at the output. So this is what about the vane bridge oscillator in which a vane bridge circuit is used as a feedback network. Instead of connecting three RC network in cascaded manner, which provides a phase shift of 180 degree, if we used a vane bridge network, which introduces a phase shift of zero degree only, then we can have a good quality sine wave at the output, and we can have a variable frequency option also available. So rather than using RC phase shift oscillator with inverting amplifier, if we use a vane bridge oscillator with non-inverting amplifier in which the phase shift is equal to zero degree only then we can have sustained oscillations at the output in this case the frequency is depend upon the value of only r and c therefore there is no need to change the value of all the three capacitors or resistors at the time only by changing the component in frequency sensitive arm we can change the frequency of output so this is about, about the vane bridge oscillator by using op-amp. I hope you understand the topic of vane bridge oscillator using op-amp. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira.